Yo, what's up? It's Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I'm answering a viewer's question. And that is, how do you dynamically filter a report based on today's date? Stay tuned. Okay, dynamically filtering your report based on today's date. Hmm. So the reason I'm doing this is that a viewer of one of my videos said, hey, Patrick, how do you do this? Right. He even went on to say, how do you do it easily? Because I don't have a lot of time. And I was like, OK, OK, OK. Got an email and some other follow up responses to people saying, hey, how do you do this? And so I decided, why not do a video? Um, I know there's a million and three ways, maybe 10 million and three ways to do this. And I'm going to show you a very simple way to get this accomplished. We just by just adding one column um, to a date table. All right. So you guys know how I like to do instead of all this jib, jab, jib, jab, jib, jab, let's head over to my laptop. OK, got a simple model here. And the first prerequisite or requirement is that you create a date table. If you don't know how to create a date table, go back a couple of videos. My man, Adam, um, he created a nice video that shows you how to build one with Dax. I kind of used a little bit of his code to build my date table because um, I'm not lazy. I'm just really efficient. All right. Back to the laptop. All right. Once you have your date table created, then the next thing you want to do is create a very simple column called is today. So head over to the ribbon, choose modeling, make sure date is selected and um, select new column. So I'm going to do a new column. All right. I'm going to expand my formula bar out. I'm going to call this is today and then equals. Then I press shift enter a couple of times just to give me a little space. Um, like my man Marco says, if it's not formatted, it's not real DAX. OK. All right. So the first thing I want to do, I'm going to create two variables. One, I'm going to call it current row date equals. And the only reason I'm doing this is because I'm just a little being a little cautious. I want to ensure that my dates are the same format. All right. If you already have them formatted, you strip time and stuff out. Don't worry about this. Skip this step. But I definitely want to do this because I want to make sure my dates are in the same format. All right. So I'm going to use the current row, the current date. And then I'm going to tell my format just like that month, month, day, day, year, year. Right. So my date's going to look like that. Then I'm going to create another one called is today lowercase. And then I'm just going to format it out the exact same way. Right. Um, and I'm going to use now a scalar function that returns today. Right. And then I'm going to format it out month, month, day, day and year. And now what I like to do, I'm going to return this and I'm going to test my my logic here. Oh, forgot a close parentheses. That's why I'm getting a squiggly line. So I'm going to test my logic and I'm going to return current row date. Right. So if I go to the data view and choose date, I can see that right now this column is just showing exactly what's in what's over here. OK. And then what I'm going to do is just format it up a little differently. And then I'm going to go back to is today and return my is today variable. And then you'll see that it's returning today. Right. And so I'm going to add a little logic here just to say if is today is equal to the current row date, just say yes. Otherwise. Say no, say no. Uh, let's make it proper. Capital N, capital Y. So nobody gets angry and now close it out. And what you see is a bunch of no's. And if we filter this, and select only the yes, you'll see that bam, today is July 31st, 2018. Almost time for school. Can't wait. So let's get rid of the filter. So that's the first part, right? That's the first step. So get your column created. Now it's telling me it's today. Now let's go back over to the report. Now you can decide how you what, at what level you want to set this filter. I'm setting it at the report level because that was the request from the viewer. Set this at the report level. So I'm going to take is today go over to my report level filters. And now you can see, right? Uh, let me get rid of this page level filter. Sorry. Um, report level um, filter. And I'm going to set it equals to yes. Right. So now you can see that if I don't check it, it's saying, hey, you got to select the date and there's lots of dates over here. If I choose yes, it's automatically going to show only today. OK, when you publish it up, that filter should persist. If somebody deletes that filter, it can mess things up, though. All right. So now what I'm going to do is let's simulate a date change. All right. So I'm going to go over here to the settings, say additional time settings, and I'm going to change tomorrow. Let's say it's August 1st. All right. It's August 1st. We click OK. We click OK and go back to our Power BI and let's click refresh home refresh. Now when the refresh 
ticks through and finishes up through the magic of YouTube, what's going to happen? Bam! Just like that, right? August the 1st, August the 1st in my slicer, and all my data adjusted to just August the 1st. And just like that, right? When you publish this up, schedule the refresh, it should behave the exact same way. What do you guys think? How are you doing this today? I'm sure you got some creative ways, right? Post it in the comments below. If you got comments, criticisms, whatever, post them in the comments below. If this is your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, please, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and Patrick, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Whoa, one take. Ooh, ooh, ooh.